Hey everyone, Zoran Solano here from Hot Property Management and Hot Property Buyers Agency. Well, I just want to do a quick end of year wrap up and a brief overview of my predictions for 2021. So 2020 has been a year of ups and downs for the Brisbane property market, with the year starting very strong. Buyers Agency had a lot of active buyers in the pipeline that we were actively searching for and purchasing in a very competitive market space. And then obviously COVID hit. We found a really mixed result during COVID. To be honest with you, it was probably some of the best buying environment I've seen in the last five years because of reduced amount of buyer interest immediately after COVID struck and when the lockdowns were really in full effect. We had active clients searching during that time with uh, unfortunately one or two clients needing to suspend their searches due to their uh, uh, employment situation changing, and also one having personal um, health issues unrelated to COVID. But for the clients who stuck it out and continued the search, they were very much rewarded. We purchased this great property in Wilena Street in Boondle for well under market value in the high 300s. For anyone who knows Brisbane, to be on 600 square metres of land in a three bed, one bath, low set brick within that 12K radius for under 400,000, it's virtually impossible. And the house basically just needed a small cosmetic renovation. So examples like that where we've been very competitive while others are out of the market uh, have really shown po positive results. Then it was a bit quiet. Buyer's agency typically has a lead in time. Obviously people have to have A, consumer confidence, but B, they have to have uh, their finance in place and they have to have the ability to then get ready to purchase. And that often can take several months. So during the time following the immediate COVID lockdown time, we did find buyer's agency slowed significantly. In fact, across the industry, sales volumes slowed significantly. But what we then saw is when the financial year ticked over, July came around, the market started to heat up. More and more buyers came into the marketplace. And then ultimately what we found is the last quarter of this year has probably been one of the busiest on record for Hot Property Buyers Agency, purchasing several properties for both owner occupiers and investors. It's interesting to note that the majority of our business at the moment in Buyers Agency is actually for owner occupiers. Typically, we're predominantly an investor split with about 60% investors, 40% owner occupiers, but that's dramatically changed with about 80% of our purchases being for owner occupiers, or at least people who plan on occupying the property in the short to medium term, looking to perhaps relocate. We saw a lot of interest from overseas uh, expats looking to return to Australia, purchasing a property and planning their return strategy for when borders are more open. But also as well, we saw a lot of Sydney and Melbourne guys looking to get out of the, the markets down there and move up here as well. And that interstate migration is something I think we'll see moving into 2021, which I'll go into further in a minute as well. Now, let me just quickly touch on property management and a year that was, I guess, a very challenging year for property management given the legislative changes due to COVID. I'm proud to say that Hot Property Management only had one COVID-related arrears during the COVID pandemic. And that's really due to our proactive management uh, strategies, but also our membership to the REIQ and their constant update of legislative change and best practice, which our team implemented at every step. And this is one of the critical elements to why I believe our owners enjoyed such a strong rate of uh, occupancy during COVID and very low arrears during that time as well. I've got a lot of interesting stats. So currently Hot Property Management uh, manages around 270 properties uh, and that's up uh, from the previous year, which is a real positive thing for our team. It's really good to see. Our team did 179 lease renewals, 130 new leases. Uh, we had over 1,200 prospective tenants inspect properties via open for inspections and we did 792 private inspections as well. We did 162 entry condition reports, uh, 608 routine inspections. Uh, there were 982 uh, items of maintenance that were completed and closed. So guys, uh, the, the, the numbers are looking really, really positive for uh, our team. They've been very, very busy. Also as well, one of the things we're very proud of, one of the things we're growing and leveraging on is our tenancy database with over 11,000 tenants on that database. And in fact, uh, my personal property in Kapira was recently uh, rented off market solely from our database. No marketing, haven't even done the professional photos. 
um, and that was a rented for about 10 to 15 dollars a week more than I was expecting now that's something I really want to touch on here towards the end of 2020 rentals started to really heat up we saw competitive situations where people were getting back into the rental market we're seeing a lot of people relocate from interstate a lot of people coming back from overseas as I mentioned in the buyers agency overview and this has now put more demand on property initially we saw a shift away from units and apartments and away from the CBD out into the burbs which obviously we would expect with more people working from home and needing more space in their family home as well so what we found is properties with a spare room or maybe a high set home with downstairs rumpus really became quite valuable as people were looking to use that space for perhaps running their own business or working from home. And, and that's something that we found has been quite a, a strong change in our marketplace. We've actually found that it's been quite frequent that tenants are willing to pay off over the asking rent now, that's something that we haven't seen in a very long time, but this competitive situation when looking for quality rental properties is something that is really starting to push that market up. So I feel like although in this typical marketplace with low interest rates and high buyer demand, we would actually typically see rents drop during this time. So as prices increase, rentals often or often dip. Uh, and that's for several reasons. Tenants become owners, you know, first home buyers. Um, but also as well as prices increase, uh, it, it just naturally widens the gap and reduces your gross rental yield as a percentage of the purchase price. Now, it's quite unusual what we're seeing right now where both are going up at the same time. It's a very unusual phenomenon that we're experiencing right now. And I believe that's really being driven by that supply and demand, that, that relocation um, um, element that we're seeing in the market right now. That's critical to driving Brisbane and Southeast Queensland into 2021. We're also seeing a lot of activity on our coastal markets and also regional areas as well. The media has spoken a lot about this, but we're seeing the population decentralized from capital cities into more regional areas. So for those older demographic who are ready for retirement, I think COVID has pushed them over that edge a little bit sooner perhaps than they had originally planned. We're now seeing more people looking to relocate for lifestyle properties. Um, also families looking to prioritize their life a little bit differently. And that's why we're seeing so many people in Southeast Queensland. The value proposition is just second to none. With our median house price in Brisbane City Council area tipping just over the 700,000 this year, we're seeing the value proposition better than ever when compared to Sydney and Melbourne, but we're still also seeing some great capital growth prospects from the market as well. I recently purchased on the Sunshine Coast, which was a great example of how the market is not just about Brisbane these days, it has moved elsewhere. I'm also seeing a lot of activity in regional areas like Bundaberg and Bagara, um, uh, you know, which is only a couple of hours north from, from Brisbane. Uh, we're also seeing a little bit of activity as well in the hinterland areas of the Gold and Sunshine Coasts, northern New South Wales as well. So guys, very, very uh, active marketplace. So 2021, my predictions. Well, obviously predictions, you know, they're, 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 they're something that you have to take with a grain of salt. But when we look at where I feel we've come and where we can go, I think Brisbane's going to have some strong growth. I think that from the, in this current financial year, the, the 20 to 21 financial year, we're gonna see some significant growth in key areas around Brisbane. Don't be surprised for double digit growth in that period. And I think 2021 calendar year is gonna continue that as well. I think some of the key locations that we're buying in are definitely gonna see that double digit growth. We've assisted several clients with a service called Vendor Advocacy, where they look to sell. And we assist them in shortlisting uh, and, and appointing a local agent and assisting getting that property ready for market. In both instances of our renovation consulting services that we did in the last quarter, we achieved 10% above the owner's original expectations of what they would achieve. And that's a significant uh, extra dollar in their pocket. It's, it's actually life-changing for those guys as well because they now have a lot more cash to move on to that dream family home or, or whatever that next step is for them. 
So 2021, I feel we're going to still see some more um, interest in the, the gold and Sunshine Coast markets and the hinterland. I feel that locals are going to struggle to see value where interstate um, investors and relocators will still see value. And that's where locals need to think of the big picture and not just be in a bubble of their own market, but consider the property market as a national uh, against other national hubs like Sydney and Melbourne and focus on the long term growth that, that's potential there. Um, also, though, what's really important is we, we need to be careful not to overpay for the wrong property. Now, this is critical in a hot market. You could get really excited about a property and, and pay a premium in a multiple offer situation. But if you're doing that for the wrong property, you're going to find yourself in serious trouble later on if the market does slow. And look, markets ebb and flow. It's just, it's just natural. Uh, we'll see the market rise and plateau, maybe drop a little bit because it perhaps become a little bit overheated like we saw in the Sydney market a few years ago. But again, if we maintain that long-term investment outlook, we're going to see that consistency of return over the long term. So where would I be buying? Well, guys, I'm still very active in the Brisbane market within 15K radius of the Brisbane CBD. I think that once we move past this COVID environment, international travel and domestic travel opens up. The Brisbane airport, now that it has its parallel runway, is going to be able to increase its capacity as originally planned. And when we look in Queensland, the two largest employment hubs are the Brisbane CBD and the airport and what we call the Trade Coast Precinct, uh, which is an industrial area, light, light to heavy industrial mix out near the airport. Those two areas provide heaps of employment. So specifically in Brisbane, I'm a big fan of the north side. Now again, I buy both north and south side and I think there's opportunities everywhere. But when we look at geographically where those two large, largest employment hubs are, we see the north side of Brisbane strategically placed between both of those areas. Having said that, the south side still offers some really great opportunity as well. Uh, and, but again, we need to make sure that you're in good, good areas. School catchments are becoming more and more important. They've always been important, but especially when we see relocators from down south. Again, when we see a, a, a really a strong public school system and, and uh, guys coming up from down south with really expensive uh, schooling fees from private schools, uh, we again see a value proposition start to emerge in our market as well. So guys, I hope that helps. Uh, if you would like to discuss the property market any further, please give me a call at 3170-3760 or pop me an email to zorin at hpsba.com.au. If you would like to review the performance of your current portfolio, put some renovation strategies in place, consider selling or buying, give me a buzz. Happy to have a free initial consultation and see what options are available for you here in the Brisbane property market. Well, thanks guys. Stay safe and I'll speak to you soon.